In an earlier section, we discussed how AutoCAD uses a Cartesian coordinate system. Sometimes we need to create nodes at specific coordinates, not a line, not an arc, or a circle. These are known as points, and there is a command that you can use that will help you draw a point. Its size doesn't matter because a point, by definition, has no size. It's only a marker or a node for a specific set of coordinates. A good example of using points would be that of a surveyor locating the corners of a piece of property. The nice thing about points is that you can define their display size and you can snap to them. So if somebody gives you a list of points, you can put them in your drawing and draw lines, sort of like playing connect the dots. So let's draw some points. The command is point, or just PO for point. You can also find it in the draw panel of the home tab in the ribbon. And you can draw points or multiple points. So once the command is started, you can enter in the coordinates if you know what they are, or you can just pick on your screen. When finished, just press escape. Now you can see these are tiny dots, and they may be difficult for you to see even, but there are some settings that you can use. You can also select them. If you use the erase command, you can select the objects and press enter. Now let's put a point in at a specific coordinate. Start the point command, and then let's zoom down here a little bit. So type in the number 5, the tab key, and the 5. So this will put us at coordinate 5, 5, right here. Points are also three-dimensional, but not in AutoCAD LT, just like every object in AutoCAD. If you leave the third coordinate off, it will be drawn at an elevation of zero. So you can now just start by drawing some points randomly on the screen. And they look a lot like dots right now. And if not, that's okay, we'll get into that. So let's add some more. Let's put one at 6, 10. It went up here. And let's just randomly pick some. When you're done, press Escape. Now start the polyline command and type in NOD for your O snap, which will be a node point, and click on one of the dots. And keep doing that and just connect your dots together. What you're doing now is just plotting out these points and then connecting them by drawing them together with a polyline. And you can make various shapes, etc. Now your points are still there. They didn't go away. They're just hard to see right now. If you want to change the appearance of your points, you can. You'll have to use some different system variables. Uh, one of them is called PD mode. By default, it's set to zero, and this changes the appearance. The other one is called PD size, and that's for changing the size. So if we set in one, and we zoom in, it's still hard to see. If you type PD size, right now the size is set to zero, and that's part of your problem. If we set it to one, refresh our screen, it's still not working the way we want. That's because these settings are very hard to use. So let's go to something else called DDP type. Press enter. Now we have something we can use. This is a nice little visual style where you can pick what your point looks like. This is a dot, this is nothing. This is a plus, an X, etc. And now you can pick the size. When you're done, you click OK. And there you go. Points you can use. So if we type in the DDP type again, we can change the point size right here. And now they're a bit smaller. You might have to do a regen, REA, regen all, to visualize it. But there's another setting here, set size in absolute units. That will set the size of it and lock it in. So we have it at 0.5 units. So no matter how far we zoom in or out or what scale the drawing is at, it will be 0.5 units in size. Sometimes, though, 
you will use a viewport and you'll have a different scale for your drawing and so your 0.5 may be too small. So sometimes you may need it to be set to the relative to screen size. Now that will keep it at 0.5 units but relative to the size of your screen. It's a percentage, not a unit size. So let me show you. If I click OK, they reduce in size. They're at half of a percent of my screen size. So if my screen here is 100%, it's taking half of one of those percents. Now, if I zoom in, it looks like they're bigger, but when I refresh my screen, again, they're smaller. So they stay the same size regardless of where I'm at. Let's pick a different percentage, one that's easier to see. Let's go kind of big. Go 10%. So now you see how big they are. If I zoom in, they stay that size relative to the screen. Now that's very handy when you have a lot of points over a big area and you're changing the scale of your view. But sometimes you do want to lock them in to one size. It's all going to depend on what you're trying to do with your drawing. Now keep in mind that all of these settings for your points will be reflected throughout your file. You can't have some points that look like an X, some points that look like a box, etc. You can't have some points that are, you know, 10 units and others that are 5. It just doesn't work that way. It's unfortunate, but it is a limitation. However, typically you're only going to want to see the points in one way anyway, well, hopefully, but uh, they are limited that way. There's a lot you can do with them and they're easily imported and exported with uh, CSV files and uh, spreadsheet type files, and surveyors use them a lot. So there are a lot of different things you can do with them, and they give you information that's not lines or arcs.